not sure if you remember, but I had a video earlier this year where I uh, bent these sweet potato vines back into this bed and then uh, buried them. And they just came back like with vigor. And the good news is that underneath all this, this foliage, there's actually some sweet potatoes growing down here. And uh, after my three day starvation, I'm ready to try one of these. I have acquired some sort of delicious tuber. I don't even know what to call what I'm cooking right now. It goes to the zap thing and everything looks like slop. This is chicken slop. Feast or famine, that's zap. Last week it was definitely famine, but tonight it's feast. I find it interesting that in the last nine months, I haven't used up a single lighter or book of matches. Um, this stuff goes a lot further than I would have expected. Uh, assuming a massive population die off, I would say there's going to be a disproportionate amount of lighters to people, and thus, there will probably be a whole generation of people that really don't need to worry about starting fire with sticks. But sooner or later, someone's going to have to learn it. And uh, it was one of my main goals to learn primitive slash creative fire starting means and it hasn't happened because it hasn't been a necessity. So um, I'm going to take it upon myself to not use any matches or lighters during the last quarter of the zombie apocalypse preparation um, except to like light candles or cigarettes or lamps or whatever. My garlic is starting to look pretty uh, wilting and, and sorry at this point. And I have read that it is good to harvest it when you still have three good green leaves because each good green leaf is a layer that's gonna go over your clove and thus protect it and preserve it longer. Let's see what these things look like. I would say that I've got garlic covered at least through the end of Zap. You can see here in the first pile, these ones have a nice thick membrane over them. And also, if you look at the leaves, they all have a lot of green leaves on them. Uh, I'd say even keep more than three, it's good. And then the second pile, you'll notice that they don't have that outer membrane. They're still like totally delicious garlic, um, but it's probably not gonna last as long. And if you look at all these, they're ones that I let go, go too long. And like the stem is still green, but they don't have any actual leaves on them. Or they've only got one or two. Now we're going to start by putting a garlic head in the middle, and then one going across to the right, and one crossing that one to the left. Then after that, we're going to put another one in the middle, one crossing that to the right, and another crossing that to the left. So you can see here that that makes two pieces on the left, two in the middle, and two on the right. That gives you a nice loop to hang your garlic on, because you want to hang it where it's aerated. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it could get moldy. If it happens to be a vampire apocalypse, you're set. I think actually it's mostly likely it's probably going to be aliens, if someone was really to ask me, which no one has really. Everyone just assumes I think it's going to be zombies.